First batch of bombers rolling off the line. Looking good. Uh, 3D strategy game that in space, but it's incredibly cinematically compelling. When we were first starting up on Homeworld 3, we were thinking, what are the, some of the coolest spectacles you can think of in the universe that you would want to play in or around? In essence, Homeworld 3 was really our original dream of Homeworld 2. The problem was, in the late 90s, early 2000s, the vision for Homeworld 3 was utterly impossible to make. Massive coronal sun ejections, massive battles in asteroid fields. Massive environments with these giant megaliths, you know, like gigantic Death Star-sized things that would create an interesting landscape for the player to move their units through. We had to wait 20 years before we could do that. So anyone who's interested in strategy or strategy like games, we want to immerse basically anyone who loves science fiction. For us, Homeworld 3 is a love letter to the fans of the franchise that have been with us over the last you know, 20, 22 years. And with Homeworld 3, we want to just continue that amazing feeling that you got from playing Homeworld 1 back in the day and give that to you again. You can play Homeworld 3 at the pace that you want to play. Tactical pause is going to allow you to actually just pause the game 100%. We have a classic controls, which you'll know and love from Homeworld 2. And then we have our modern control scheme. And that one is built around FPS controls that you know and love from the games that you've played before. So MOBA players, RTS players from other games will be able to quickly understand, OK, if I want to go somewhere, I just click on this element here. Cinematic combat is such a huge pillar to the franchise. We want you to be able to get in there, find the coolest camera angle, and enjoy the spectacle. For anybody who's never played a homeworld game, they'll be able to get right into the action. We wanted choke points. We wanted interesting strategic decision making for the player. When engaging in combat, terrain will actually matter. We have tunnels where you can actually take your fighters and frigates through those things, and that will actually remove you from the enemy sensors. You can ambush them. You can actually use a larger ship to take fire for another ship. So in Homeworld 3, we focused a lot on what wasn't already available for us within Unreal. We wanted to figure out the more distinct views that the game would have that separate Homeworld from any other game, which is the, mostly the skybox and the lighting to give that feel of being in space. When you go into a nebula, the ship understands how much coverage it has from that, which will affect the concept of fog of war in the game. We knew that we wanted persistent damage on the ships, and so then we focused on what that system would be like. You'll see the history of your battles as you go through the whole campaign. Please wishlist and pre-order the game. We're super excited to have you.